So how did this suite of products, if you will, in the Essential Psychopharmacology series come to be? Well, about 20 years ago, I thought about writing the first book, which was the core textbook, and that was largely based on lots of lectures I gave, and it was really about the mechanism of disease action as well as the mechanism of drug action. And it was highly illustrated, and it was a concept of disease action and drug action. Well, after I did that, people say, well, that's how the drugs work, but how do you use them? And so I thought, well, let's make a prescriber's guide. And in doing that, we took about a hundred or so of the top prescribed psychotropic drugs and created a visual vocabulary of little icons about how to use the drug in various mechanisms. And in addition to the kind of information you get from many types of uh, published information about these drugs, the unique aspect are what we call tips and pearls, where because I'm still a practicing psychiatrist, I put in things about what you really do with the drugs that are outside some of the more formal approved guidelines. And uh, those are tips about how to really use them, about really how to dose them, and about um, how it's used in sort of difficult uh, patients and uh, real world psychiatric practice. Well, then people said, well, that's great, but do you have any examples of how you actually use these in patients? And so then the next brainstorm was to put 40 of my actual cases that I have in my own private practice into a book called a case studies book. And in that, we go through actually a very humbling kind of scenario for each case. I go through it, come to a roadblock, think it through, tell you what I tried. I don't fake anything. Sometimes I make mistakes, and then I hopefully recover from those, and the reader can follow through the litany of what happens, and some of the cases have sort of a neutral ending. We don't know what happens. It goes as far as it goes, and some of them turn out quite well. So that's the case book. And then finally, there's a movement worldwide about you know, accreditation of people, about certification about people, about getting board certification, and then in the United States at least keeping that certification every 10 years. And so the boards have come up with this concept in all specialties, including psychiatry, called uh, performance in practice and maintenance of certification. And to that extent, we created a self-assessment exam. It can be used by residents and registrars and young trainees in psychiatry and in other allied specialties in nursing or pharmacy or even psychology. And the idea is you're supposed to ask yourself questions about a topic area and hopefully you'll know some of the answers, but when you don't know the answers, not only do you get the answer in the book, but it's supposed to serve as a motivation for you to go back, hopefully to other books in the suite, but also anywhere you want, and find out in more depth about that area. Every good clinician is constantly updating him or herself and trying to find out how to do better. And that book is sort of a self-assessment tool so that you can find out where you want to go. Now, there's an old saying that adults don't want answers to questions that they haven't posed. And so the self-assessment exam is supposed to say, well, what questions do you have of yourself among these various ones that you want to find the answers about? And that motivation usually drives you to get the answers. So that's sort of how the thing came about with the possible addition of some specialized books. We sometimes wanted to have short, readable, illustrated series on a number of very specific uh, topics. Those are short books. Uh, they don't have a lot of text to them. They have really expanded uh, illustrations that are uh, sort of have annotations to them. And uh, there's also a bit of edited book uh, kind of writing that we do about specialty areas. So put that all together, we got a suite of products in the Essential Psychopharmacology book series.